It's the most well-known driver assistance system in the world, and its features have impressed millions. Technology has become so advanced that we're finally moving towards the era of cars driving themselves. Who thought this would ever be possible? Well, some people realized that self-driving technology could be achievable and went to work on bringing this vision to life. Now, with so many promising results so far, we can expect that several self-driving cars will be on the road soon. But which ones should we look out for? Well, here are some of the best self-driving companies that have made huge progress with driverless cars and are ready to dazzle us with this technology. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. It's time to enjoy the ride. Waymo. Founded in 2009, this San Francisco-based self-driving company is owned by Google's parent company, Alphabet. So you can tell that it will really be mind-blowing. Given Google's track record, so far, Waymo has set the bar ahead of many other companies in the world of autonomous vehicles. They have hundreds of vehicles already in operation on major roads, with sophisticated technology present in every inch of their self-driving cars. For self-driving, Waymo uses radar sensors, LADAR, and cameras as primary technologies for navigating the vehicle. With microphones in all Waymo cars, it is able to automatically detect sirens from emergency vehicles. Now, if you were driving this car yourself, you would recognize that this was a special situation and move aside for the vehicle to move through. Waymo, like a driverless car, would act a similar autonomous functionality to make sure it responds appropriately to the situation. This car driving company is already on the road, operating autonomy level for robo taxis in Arizona. These taxis still have someone up front acting as a backup driver, but they have also tested their functionality with its fully autonomous level. They also have an interesting reason for picking Arizona for their taxi service. Waymo claims that they have the ideal environment, traffic, and weather conditions to have them functioning without hitches. Compared to other places, around the world. So far, we've seen their operations move to other locations like California and Michigan, and their fully driverless cars could become a reality sooner than expected. Up next is General Motors Cruise. Currently with the second largest autonomous fleet in the world, General Motors Cruise means serious business when it comes to self-driving cars. This company is the majority owner of Cruise, alongside SoftBank and Honda Motors. This category of car has already gotten on the road, although most as business vehicles. However, However, a good chunk of them have been modified to allow self-driving capabilities. Knowing that General Motors has been in the automotive industry for more than 100 years, they are miles ahead of other players in the industry, including tech companies like Apple. They are also capable of producing several hundred thousand vehicles yearly with the car manufacturing experience to back it up. Even though the tech companies could be stronger from an intelligence point of view, General Motors has the real-world driving experience to excel and has even started testing some fully self-driving models. Since this company has already gotten the permit from California Department of Motor Vehicles, testing has been in full swing without human backup drivers. We're only a few years away from a major breakthrough. Up next is Ford. Back in 2017, Ford decided to invest a billion dollars in a robotics company created by former leaders at Uber and Google. This startup company, Argo AI, would be producing vehicles strictly for running a ride-hailing service. Finally, Argo AI created its Autonomous Vehicle Research Center in 2019 thanks to a $15 million investment that will see it focused on manufacturing self-driving technology. Within a few years, they're expected to have created more robust algorithms and find sensors. Automation moves from level 1 to level 5, with level 1 still having full human control apart from some steering tasks, while level 5 is complete automation. Ford planned to achieve level 4 automation by 2021, where some areas will be safe enough not to need a human driver. Although productions are not exactly going according to plan, Ford is still very much interested in having an unbeatable self-driving car fleet that will focus more on safety. Currently, Argo AI is testing about a vehicles across some cities in the United States. There are areas with more construction, intersections and people, which is meant to train the self-driving algorithm for hectic situations. We're patiently waiting for the results of this innovation. Up next is Honda. Although Honda wanted a partnership with Waymo for its self-driving technology, they couldn't agree on this deal in 2018 as they both wanted two different things. Honda wanted instant access to the technology, while Waymo only wanted them to supply cars to use this technology. Therefore, 
their goal of having self-driving cars on the highway by 2020 didn't exactly come to life. The good thing about this is that they got into a partnership with General Motors Cruise instead, where they would be creating driverless vehicles specifically for this fleet of vehicles. Compared to Ford and General Motors, Honda does not have it easy with their plans to jump into self-driving technology. However, they're not out of the race just yet. With a lot of investments already put in place to bring autonomous vehicles to life, it remains to see what they can come up with in a few years. Up next is Toyota. This automobile company started out as a skeptic for autonomous vehicles, but it's safe to say that they have been convinced to get in on this million dollar industry. By 2015, Toyota had invested $1 billion into their research institute for robotics and AI technology. This was the beginning of the journey towards launching their own self-driving cars. And as you can expect, it's no easy feat. Right now, several car brands are inching towards finally achieving that all-important level 5 autonomy. But they were not so close in 2016. 2019 brought with it some exciting news from Toyota, as they announced that they would be using NVIDIA's technology in their autonomous vehicles. Work is still underway on creating one of the best self-driving cars of our time, and we're looking at a successful launch in less than a decade. Up next is Tesla. This list won't be complete without talking about the famous Tesla. In the world of autonomy, this is one of the biggest players, and there are a lot of surprises in store for automotive enthusiasts. Right now, they have more vehicles on the road that are capable of achieving level 5 autonomy, and that's more than any manufacturer out there. Tesla is redefining their driverless technology game. However, instead of using LiDAR technology and light detection like other cars, Musk went for 2D cameras and ultrasonic radar for for its autonomous operations. You could say that this is a good move so far, with more than 500,000 production vehicles already on roads and having driven billions of miles collectively. Even more amazing is the fact that Tesla prototype vehicles have achieved level 5 autonomy. Elon Musk talked about having up to a million fully autonomous level 5 cars from Tesla on the road by the end of 2020. But we can all see that this didn't happen. We can chalk the addition to a long list of unkept promises due to the global health situation that affected every single sector of the economy, but let's see what the next few years will be like for Tesla and its drive towards autonomy. Up next is Zooks. Founded in 2014, Zooks is a California-based startup that is looking to create autonomous vehicles that can drive on freeways and within city streets. After being acquired by Amazon for about a billion dollars, the company stepped up its game towards driverless cars that maintain the safety of their passengers. The goal is to have an on-demand transportation. Thanks to the fleet of independently operating cars, Zooks has also made an investment in the robo-taxi zone as they unveiled their fully self-driving version not so long ago. With this, the four-seater self-driving taxi can serve as a good shuttle on college campuses and parks. It appears it doesn't look so different from other self-driving vehicles that have been unveiled so far. Over the years, they've been working on making their autonomous vehicle drive both forward, backward, and bi-directionally. What this means is that it can handle really crazy maneuvers, including moving from side to side and successfully navigating tricky U-turns. According to Zooks, this fully self-driving vehicle is the first to travel up to 75 miles per hour, as they plan to get it on the highway soon. This vehicle also has several safety features, including cameras, radar sensors, and six LiDAR. All these work together to give at least 270 degree view while on the road, and this eliminates blind spots. From the cozy seats surrounded by texture fabric to the wireless charging mats between them, everything is decked out to make riders as comfortable as possible. You would also notice a starry sky pattern on the ceiling, similar to what you would find in luxury vehicles. With 133 kilowatts per hour battery packs that Zooks claims will last for up to 16 hours, this is more than enough juice for this car to make its mark in the ride-hailing service industry. Since 2020, the company has been testing several prototypes in Nevada and California. Amazon is already an e commerce giant that has made its mark in the online shopping department, and Zooks is just another way to push massively into the transportation sector. Up next is Baidu. With more than 250 self-driving cars already being tested on Chinese roads, Baidu means serious business. They have a combined distance of more than 2 million miles across several cities and are looking to expand as much as possible. You may remember Baidu as a search engine, but now they have moved on to the other industries, especially exploring the 
market for autonomous vehicles. So, Baidu did the next best thing. They teamed up with some Chinese car makers that had the self-driving technology to use on their robo-taxi service. This is similar to what Waymo did, and it's a cool means of testing the vehicles at level 4 autonomy. So, for Baidu, there would be a driver in the car. But by 2025, they're hoping to have fully functional level 5 self-driving cars. And there you have it. These are some of the best self-driving cars to look out for. Which one is your favorite on this list? And which one do you think should have made our list? Let me know in the comments. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.